Hello, 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 my darling. It is so good to be here with you again. If you're just getting to know me, I'm Johnny Lee with transformwithjohnnylee.com, and I am the creator of the Sex Money Magic Program, where women come to claim their sexual power, claim their money, and learn how to create their lives as if by magic. And today I am going to, we're going into one of my favorite topics, which is one of the biggest energy blocks to your sex money magic. And if you have even a little bit of this toxic emotion, it will stop you dead in your tracks from creating the magical life that you deserve. By right of birth, not by right of virtue, okay? And this toxic emotion is shame. And I call it toxic because we're not born with it. You are not born an infant with this with shame. Shame is an emotion that is imposed upon us by those who may have good or negative intentions, but it is imposed upon us by those who would control us. And it's toxic because it's injected into us at an early age with one very clear message. And that message is that you, who you are by your very nature, by your spirit, by your soul, who you are by your nature is not good. And you need to change who you are in order to be loved, in order to be cared for, and in order to be accepted. That is what shame says. Shame is a form of social control and it does not serve. Shame is what I call a first chakra wound. It affects your very foundation of power and it causes all kinds of anxiety that keep you from being grounded, present, confident, and able to advocate for yourself. It's no joke. Shame is harmful and it's toxic and it keeps you from feeling safe, expressing your truth. It keeps you silent. It'll keep you in this endless cycle of overgiving and under receiving. Shame keeps you hiding for fear of judgment. Shame keeps you from claiming your sexuality and your sexual power. It keeps you from claiming your divine right to riches, ease, money, abundance. Shame will keep you playing small and shame keeps you stuck. So my question for you today is what if you were shameless? You know, to even call someone shameless is an insult, right? But I want to just put that on its side and say, what if you had no shame around your sex and around your sexual desires? What if you had no shame around money and your desire to have lots of it? What if you had no shame about being selfish and doing things for yourself, filling your own cup first? And what if you had no shame around saying, mm, no, I don't want to do that for you. And what if you had no shame about promoting yourself as awesome, as a person in your business, in your job, in your relationships? What if you had no shame about being who you truly are? Couldn't that change things? Can you see how much easier it would be to be yourself if you didn't have any shame? How much easier it would be to promote yourself or to advocate for what you truly desire in your life? <sighs> Today, I am inviting you to explore what would be different. Drop it in the comments below. And what would be different in your life without shame? Because shame comes from our family of origin, right? It comes from our very origins. And therefore, it is first chakra wounding. And it's going to affect 
all of your energy system, all of that, all of your energy system through your chakras, and it will keep you feeling anxious, hiding, and compromising your truth to avoid judgment. And hiding from, hiding yourself from the world does not serve. And when we do heal, those first chakra wounds around shame, the changes are nothing short of miraculous. One of my clients, Angela, love this woman, love, love, love her, was a chronic hider. She was getting her essential oil business off of the ground, and she would create these beautiful promotional uh, um, agendas, right? She was really inspired to do it. But the minute, the minute that she had to go out into the world and start talking and promoting herself and her business and the opportunity, she would constrict. She would totally contract and she would self-sabotage. She'd go into hiding and she would even get sick to, uh, as a form of self-sabotage that kept her hiding. She was always worried about what her friends and family and other people would think and that they would judge her for doing something so out of the box from what is acceptable in her circles for women like her. And so after we worked together and we healed and, and cleared those wounds around shame that she was carrying, she just went full on. She was promoting her business. She quickly attracted that team of go-getters for her downline. And her business went from like barely limping along to actually thriving and replacing her income that she used to, that she used to have in her acceptable day job. So when she dropped her shame, all of those pieces came into place and it became easy and fun like magic. So, my darling, I'm calling upon you now to explore and ask yourself, what would your life be like if you had no shame? All right? Because shame kills. It kills your sexy. It kills your money. And it definitely kills any chance of magical living. So if you would like to learn how to heal, because, you know, we know shame. Okay, so shame's bad. We want to get rid of it. But how do we do it? If you would like to learn how to heal from lifetimes of shame, please join me next week. I am hosting a free healing master training, and you will learn how to heal those wounds, claim your sexual power, heal your money story, and create your life as if by magic. So I would love to invite you to join me. If you're watching this on Facebook, click the link. It's in the title. If you are watching on YouTube, it'll be below in the description. And also, if you are with me here on YouTube, will you please, please, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See? Shameless promotion. <laughs> so my darling, what if you were truly shameless? Come and join me and learn how to drop the shame, clear the drama, heal the trauma so you can claim your sex, claim your money, claim your magic. It's yours. Just take it. Come and take it. So again, I'm Johnny Lee, the creator of the Sex Money Magic Program, and I cannot wait to see what is possible for you. Until next time, thank you for joining me. I love you, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.